Okay guys, so today with the high cost of living, everybody is complaining, which is truthfully where they should be, um, but the high cost of living. So today I'm going to show you guys how to make your own laundry detergent, wash and soap, for 23 cents a gallon. Guys, at the supermarkets, they're like $14 for Tide and $18, and I even buy the, even the big um, bags of kind of Spanish brand or whatever, that's 10 bucks. Today, I've kind of observed other people doing it as well, and so I tried my own method and it worked um, for 23 cents a gallon, all right? But so you will need, here's what you will need. You'll need a five gallon. If you use a five gallon, guys, I know some of you women might need help with the um, backing it from where we do it. Five gallon, you're gonna need, you're gonna need um, borax, you're gonna need, now, zote, only like a dollar something, I buy it at Larry's, only like a dollar something. These I bought from A.L. Thompson, I guess Foster's have them to like for seven bucks. All right, and then or, or, or you don't have to do an, or if you like the Jamaican blue, well, it's called like the Jamaican blue soap, you can use that too. This is the one I used, all right, instead of the um, Zot, but I've seen where other people have a lot of good results with the Zot as well, hardly any scent. For people that don't like any, smells at all use that one um this one has a very this is very i guess you'd call it according to this can kill a lot of germs so i use this one as well uh, instead of the zoot all right so so two things you're gonna need water of course if you call that ingredient borax this and water but for the utensils again have your pan your five gallon can to mix it in where is my cylinder um and then of course you have you're gonna put three, I, I, I only have three, but when you look, you're gonna actually make, it's gonna be a five gallon container, it's gonna make out of the, it, what we're gonna show you, but it actually make 10 gallon, 10 one gallons. So a five gallon will give you 10 one gallon um, bottle stuff. This can last you guys for months, especially people that have four or five kids. It can last you guys if you use it sensibly, enough to clean your clothes, Oh, for those of you who like other smells, you can. Now, people say use the, um, um, if you like essential oils, you can get a peppermint. <laughs> if you have a peppermint uh, plant in your yard, just take that, break that off. And if you don't have it, it's easy to grow it. Take that off, break it, boil it in some hot water, and then take that hot water and put it into your, into, if you like that kind of essential oil, oil smell. I like to kind of have no smell on, on my clothing, yeah? So... Cause some perfumes and stuff clash with um, your deodorants and stuff and it doesn't smell good so I like to kind of have a non um, smell at all so again if you put on any perfumes deodorant you don't too long to clash yeah and then lastly you will also you're gonna need this so that when you start pouring when you start taking the stuff out of the five gallon from here then you're going to pour it in to here. But again, make 10 gallons. I don't have 10 of these, so I just use three. So let's get with it, guys. So I'll show you how it's done. All right, let me shut the video off for now. Okay, guys, so I want to show you this, guys. So again, ingredients are one cup of borax and a whole of your soap. Now, what if you use the blue one? This one is, again, stronger. It's kind of Jamaican. We grew up on it, too. When it was smaller i just used like three quarters of that guys and it was strong and what i did is most people usually say because i've seen this video elsewhere and i tried it myself they said to put five gallons five gallons of hot water in here right but how i did it was differently what i did was take my and again you just grate you can you can some places have this guys already grated in the box i don't see it anywhere here in Cayman. Um, that's grated in the box. So this is like one, two, three of them. I don't see anywhere where it's grated. They're whole. And, but all I did was to go again this guy here, and I grated it, guys. It grates quite easily. All right. And I put it over. I put it over. I, I found a pot, or I'm using a pot that I know I'm not going to use again for food, right? Because uh, I'm trying to get rid of all Teflon stuff. Uh, again, our health is our wealth, of course. So I'm trying to go porcelain and we'll talk about another one on another video. So grated it quite easily. 
I put a, like a gallon of water in here, put a whole gallon of water in here, grated it, and actually what, but sorry, the water was hot, okay? Water was hot, and I made it stay just overnight. Overnight, you guys, look what we got. Look at this, I think, hopefully you guys can see it from the camera. I came back the next morning, I'm like, hold on. So some people say put five gallons of hot water into this bucket. I did it a little reverse. I put one gallon first of hot water just to get it diluted with this, with again, with a whole container. If you want to use, if you don't want smells, use the soap. If you don't mind a kind of, um, I guess, kind of bacterial, antibacterial smell, I use this. And again, we grew up on using this, right? So I was kind of familiar with using that. Um, my three quarters, that that's it. Left it overnight. And guys, look what we have, a nice, big, thick, thick concentrate, all right? They concentrate. Look at, look at that. Look how heavy that is. So I'm going to stir it. Now, again, for these pans, you can, if you want to go, I bought a brand new at the hardware store for like $7.50. And then I got cupboards around the place. So you want to cover it and put it in your washing area, your laundry room, whatever. Or you can go to like the paint shop sometime when they are throwing out their paint. Just make sure to clean it really good so you have no more chemicals left in here. To, you know put in your clothing or anything so clean properly i went ahead and just bought one for 750 and um and then the so i just what i did is again just put it in here you have it overnight in hot water just soak the, the, the whole thing and it got it, it dissolved itself nicely so what you have is a nice big thick amount and i'm stirring it around oh i meant to say and when you go there if you go to a paint shop ask them to give you the stick that you that you stare your paint in as well ask them to give you that they don't mind it's less than a dollar right if they want to, they want to charge you for it fine do it because again once you make this stuff guys it lasts you with a hammer three to five like if you use it sensibly which is like a half cup each time it lasts a long time and so guys we got together we went and when we grew up we were doing we were using this stuff anyhow and it all worked guys it cleaned our clothes and we, I'm assuming we smell clean, right? And that's it. But now we're spending all the, all these 18, 15, 12 dollar detergents in less than a month, it's gone. That's a hundred and something dollars a year, right? That, I look at it like this. If I can save myself a hundred dollars for the year on one item, on one item, one, if you do it on more items, it adds up to a couple hundred bucks you can use in Christmas time for shopping. Or like I said, if I save 100 bucks, I, I feel I can sit down at the end and treat myself to a very nice restaurant for that 100 bucks I, I saved, yeah? So there you have it. It came a big, nice, big, thick, concentrated amount. And so now I'm gonna go about, um, I'm gonna go about pouring it in. I'll add some more water and pour it in here. Okay, I'm gonna change the camera so you can kind of see me pouring it down and, and, and the, take the five gallon off of here, put it on the ground and show you mixing up the, the four gallons to make a total then we're gonna fill sorry we're gonna half fill this stir it stir it stir it, and then add some more water and when you look you have about that amount container in case you didn't see it about hair with a good solid liquid and add that that's concentrated guys that is concentrated five gallon concentrated will give you again 10 one gallon container of stuff so some people might want to just leave it in there you tilt it like this leave it in a whole five gallon or or if you want to just have one gallons around the place in your washroom you can do that too in case you're getting a child to help you you kind of feel they can handle maybe a gallon better but all you need to do is all we need to do is have all you need to do is have a little one gallon or a measuring cup in your washroom where you know, keep this stuff and just tell the child who's helping you use a cup or again show them on here where's a cup and then or if you think that hey my clothes is really dirty and i want to just use more than use a cup and a half then but i would just uh, obviously just try a cup pour it out in the one gallon wash your laundry and again if next time you say well my clothes is real dirty i had construction worker husband or i do that kind of work myself then up it to one and a half all right, so I'll stop it so I can you can see me pouring down here.
Okay guys, so today with the high cost of living, everybody is complaining, which is truthfully where they should be, um, but the high cost of living. So today I'm going to show you guys how to make your own laundry detergent, wash and soap, for 23 cents a gallon. Guys, at the supermarkets, they're like $14 for Tide and $18, and I even buy the, even the big um, bags of kind of Spanish brand or whatever, that's 10 bucks. Today... I've kind of observed other people doing it as well and so I tried my own method and it worked um, for 23 cents a gallon all right but so you will need here's what you will need you'll need a five gallon if you use a five gallon guys I know some of you women need help with the um, backing it from where we do it five gallon you're gonna need you're gonna need um, borax you're gonna need now zote only like a dollar something I buy it at Larry's only like a dollar something these I bought from A.L. Thompson I guess Foster's have them to like for seven bucks all right and then or 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 you don't have to do and or if you like the Jamaican blue well it's called like the Jamaican blue soap you can use that too this is the one I used all right instead of the um zote that I've seen where other people have a lot of good results with the zote as well hardly any scent for people that don't like any smells at all use that one um this one has a very this is very i guess you call it according to this can kill a lot of germs so i use this one as well and instead of the zoot all right so so two things you're gonna need water of course if you call that ingredient borax this and water but for the utensils again have your pan your five gallon can to mix it in where is my cylinder um and then of course you have you're gonna put three. I, I, I only have three, but when you look, you're gonna actually make it's gonna be a five gallon container. It's gonna make out of the, it, what we're gonna show you, but it actually make 10 gallon, 10 one gallons. So, a five gallon will give you 10 one gallon um, bottle stuff. This can last you guys for months, especially people that have four or five kids. It can last you guys if you use it sensibly enough to clean your clothes. Oh, for those of you who like other smells, you can. Now, people say use their, um, um, if you like essential oils, you can get a peppermint. <laughs> if you have a peppermint uh, plant in your yard, just take that, break that off. And if you don't have it, it's easy to grow it. Take that off, break it, boil it in some hot water, and then take that hot water and put it into your, into, if you like that kind of essential oil, oil smell. I like to kind of have no smell on, on my clothing, yeah? So... Cause some perfumes and stuff clash with um, your deodorants and stuff and it doesn't smell good so I like to kind of have a non um, smell at all so again if you put on any perfumes deodorant you don't too long to clash yeah and then lastly you will also you're gonna need this so that when you start pouring when you start taking the stuff out of the five gallon from here then you're gonna pour it in to here but again make 10 gallons I don't have 10 of these so I just use three so let's get with it guys so I'll show you how it's done all right let me shut the video off for now okay guys so I know you guys can see in here what we've got I'm gonna put my last five my fifth gallon of water it's not exactly a gallon here but um, I'll call that five gallons so and it's about three quarters full all right guys and you know i took this and stirred it around again you when you go to the um paint store or just use a stick or if you want to use your broom whatever it's all about saving money guys and it's high cost of living and um and having stuff that's more homemade because a lot of stuff you buy guys and a lot of the cost is just in, i just ordered some stuff from amazon and i'll do another video of that later um uh cast iron uh frame pan and just <laughs> My freight and duty was almost, I think, exceeded what I paid for the frame pan itself. So my point is, a lot of your items is simply, the cost of them is you buy the item and then you'll pay so much, sometimes 100% or 50% more um, on, the, on the handling fees, guys, of the freight and duty and a freight forwarder to clear on for you. So whereas if you make this stuff at home, you don't have to have it in all those charges, guys. So let's be smart. In these high inflationary times, let's be smart. All right? So hopefully you guys can see it. 
It's a nice big, thick frothy soap. And I'll, I'll show you guys later one where I did with um, Niche Liquid. And yes, you don't have to have the froth. That does not mean it's clean. That's going to clean it better. But some people like that. So I'll show you how to do that. Get that for even your dish liquid um, in another video. All right, so it's for three parts for guys. And then um, I'm going to, all you do, all you do guys, there's the next segment of it. All you do is you open your little container. This is what us moms and single mothers and smart industrious children are doing at home, making their own stuff. So hopefully you guys can still see the video from here. I'm trying to keep it that you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm scared if I put it on the floor, you might not see. Let's try. So basically, anyhow, basically what you do, you take a cup and you pour it into your one gallon and you fill your gallon. And when you look, guys, you're gonna have, um, you're gonna have these five gallons that I have full and you'll still have some more left in here that can give you another five gallons. So altogether you have 10 gallons, 10, sorry, 10, this is a five gallon container. So you're gonna have 10 one gallon, um, one gallon containers of soap liquid for, comes out like 23 cents a gallon per one gallon. And that's a huge different price from making 18, doing $18, $15 for Tide. Uh, again, a lot of your items are simply in the cost of shipping and handling and freight and carrying them around the world. That's where a whole lot of your cost is, is and not in the quality of the product at all. A lot of times it's just the handling. All right, so I'm gonna just make one and stop the video because I'm sure you guys got the drift. But look how fraud it is, guys. Now, and again, if you don't like, if you're like me, you don't like a lot of smells, so you can even put more water and thinning it out, right? Or if you want it to even be soapier and thicker, then add a little bit more soap. But again, the whole thing to get your soap to dissolve um, is, uh, again, I put it in a pot I wasn't gonna use at all, but I put everything in here, the cup of borax, the soap hair, and hot water, stir it around, left it overnight. Next morning, it was, it was like jelly gooey. Right, so again, if you simply want to um, make, if you want yours to smell stronger, add more soap. If you don't like that strong smell, change uh, change over to, um, oops, this one is running over. So let me stop this. Oops, all the nice froth. Ugh. And again, I'm gonna show you later, as we said earlier, how to do the soap liquid. The soap liquid one that I'm gonna do is totally different. It doesn't have all the sprout, guys, but if you're one of those people that like to have all the sun and feels like it's cleaning your, your dishes and stuff more, then I'm gonna show you what to add just to get the sudden stuff. But the sprout has nothing to do with how well or not it's gonna clean it. So there you have it, guys. I hope I've been very helpful. I hope I showed you how you can save at least a hundred bucks for me alone, that wash is gonna save me at least $100 for the year. For people that have children, it's gonna save them probably at least $100 every six months. I totally believe that. And again, you use that 100 bucks, you can, like I said, you can go and sit down and treat yourself and your child or your children to a night out at Burger King or a nice meal for the money you save rather than spending all that money on, on items that are, again, a lot of your item costs is simply in getting it to your door or getting it in a supermarket. Just what you pay on freight and duty and freight forwarders is eating up a whole lot of the cost of your item. All right, so hopefully that's been helpful, guys. And I'm gonna shut off for now and I'll do another video on dish liquid. Voila, and there you have it, guys. There's my little 23 cents gallon of soap. There's my clean um, laundry I just did. I did a whole tub, I just bought some in here to show you guys, nice and clean, um, smells good. Only thing I think I will do the next time is to even use a little bit less because I don't like to smell like any perfumes. I like to have everything kind of almost like a ivory where it has no smell at all. And uh, cause sometimes I just wonder is it, anyway, sometimes people are sensitive to smells like uh, any laundry detergents, any kind. Some people love to smell that, 
I like to have, have my clothing have no smell at all so that if you want to add perfume, whatever, you can do that without it conflicting with your detergent in your clothing. Some people are fussy about that, some people are not, but I just want you to see, come out nice and clean, uh, one, 23 cents a gallon, stop spending 15, 16 dollars for a thing of soap liquid, save your money, inflationary times are here, let's use good common sense guys and use our money that we saved on a laundry detergent and go enjoy yourself, like buy a stock with it, <laughs> buy a uh, share with it on some platform or go to dinner with it you know what i mean have it for a little bit of fun take care the next one we're going to do is how to do your um dish liquid and how you can take and adapt that to even make a um shower cleaner all right that's gonna be the next one so talk to you later bye we'll do a totally separate episode on that